Robert, it is a piece of uh, agricultural machinery, but it can run by itself autonomously. You can also teleoperate it, which will allow the farmer to use it from far away, but still have a control in this agricultural environment, which is not as orderly as it would be in an industrial environment. The idea is for an agri-robot to be in the field doing the difficult work, the dangerous work and the work in adverse conditions while uh, the farmer is in comfortable, safe conditions even at home or in a house in the field or even controlling several of those. procured from the Robotnik, a Spanish company, and on it we added the spraying, uh, the cameras, and made it from a neutral uh, robotic platform into an agricultural robot, so that uh, the farmer can have what is called a telepresence. This is a robotic platform. We added on this something to spray. You can add an arm uh, to prune. Uh, you can add an arm to collect crops. Uh, it can do any work as a matter of fact. And this is also one of the advantages of the teleoperation as opposed to the automatic operation. Wherever internet allows, uh, the farmer can be. Can be in another city, in another country, and look and see, and in the future hear and feel through the eyes of the robot, through the cameras and the sensors of the robot. One of the things that uh, can be done through devices like that is that you can also easily track the movement of the head and maybe uh, the movement of the eyes and things like that so that the teleoperation will be more complete, more natural, without a lot of training and without uh, a lot of fatigue. We have tried it out in special laboratories. Uh, there is a usability lab at the Hellenic Open University and there it was tried in vitro, uh, doing special experiments. And then it was tried in actual fields of the Agricultural Research Institute with actual farmers and um, farming workers and uh, <coughs> agricultural engineers and we have tested it and measured it and seen what are the results and that's how we conclude it in an interface that's actually usable. The continuation of this project is in several directions. Direction one is the commercialization. This is an experimental prototype. There are things to do so that it can reach the field. The second is to continue the research in um, the user interfaces, which is scientific research and from which publications and PhD degrees come. The third is to add other agricultural operations, some of which can be quite complex, like pruning, and non-reversible. And finally is the combination between the automatic programmed operation and the teleoperation.